I have been scoping a lot today, a lot, a lot, because I'm really trying to figure out what's going on with the notification system and why people aren't getting notified. Um, <laughs> hi! So, as you guys know, I have been on, like, so many times today. Um, I want people to know about the bat hearts, I want people to use the bat hearts because they're really fun. And uh, I want to keep doing this until uh, Periscope fixes its glitch and they actually, um, <laughs> and they actually notify everybody like they're supposed to. Um, trolley's here, trolley, trolley, trolley. Um, but you guys notice, you guys notice that the numbers are significantly lower. How the heck did we get bad hearts? Um, just use hashtag Halloween in your scope and uh, in your title and you'll get bat hearts. They're really fun. Um, but look, season this, there's 11. It stopped at 11 last time too. Very weird. It's like the numbers are so, 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 so low today. And I don't know what it is. I'm trying to figure it out. So much lower. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Something's, something's going wrong. I don't know what it is. Bye! Bye, Sean! I don't know what's going on, but everyone has been noticing, especially like a lot of the bigger scopers have been noticing significant drops in numbers, like a 75% drop. So I don't know what's going on today, but for some reason notifications aren't going on. Um, but I don't know if it's working when you share with people, so I don't know, I don't know if that's the trick, is to maybe just get some people in here and then sharing, but like, I don't know, I don't know. The numbers have been ridiculously low. Um, but yeah, if you guys tap, 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 tap away, you guys will see the bat hearts and they're really fun. Um, hi, hi Casper! You just get, yeah, you start tapping and then like every tenth heart is a bat and it's really fun. Um, I did notice though, that as I do stay on, like, the numbers grow a little bit more. But it's very, I don't know, it's very strange. It's significantly lower than usual. Bat hearts, I know. Aren't they so beautiful? But I enjoy talking to you guys, so I don't mind how many people there are in here. But it's just a very, very strange occurrence that's happening right now. Um, that for some reason, people's numbers are getting extremely, extremely low. But um, hopefully they'll fix that. I'm really, really hoping. Because uh, I, I worked very hard for all of you beautiful friends and, and people. And I, I like, man, the first 60 days I was on Periscope, I hustled, man. I was on here like 10 times a day singing. I want Turkey and Santa hearts for the next holidays. I do too. I hope they do that. So guys, tap, 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 tap. If you want to give uh, bat hearts, tap, tap, tap. And you'll see there. I know it's like, it's, it's a weird thing to be like whining about like, oh, I was in enough viewers, but, um, it's just, I will not stand for this. You are a superstar. <laughs> Thank you. Are you driving? No, I'm not. If I was driving, things would be moving and I would not just be sitting here staring at my phone, but I am in my car because it's really hot in California right now. And if I get out, I'm going to melt and I don't have class for another half hour. Teach class. I'm not going to class. I'm teaching class. So yeah, do you see the hearts? Aren't they fun? I know, I know. New York City, y'all need sweaters and coats and all that stuff. I grew up on uh, the East Coast for 25 years in Massachusetts, so I feel your pain. I promise you I do. Um, but I also am going to melt if I get out of my car right now, so. <laughs> You're melting too, sun-kissed Jess. You should do a scope. Do a scopey scope and let us give you some bat hearts. What do you teach? I am a voice coach and I'm a choir teacher and a piano teacher. And so basically general music teacher as well. I can also do guitar and uh, various other things, songwriting, music theory. Hi, como estas? It's too hot here in Dubai, I imagine. I actually need a voice coach. If you actually need a voice coach, follow me and hit me up on uh, Twitter at Pass the Bananas and we can totally talk because I do coach online. Um, I've gotten several clients through just Periscope without even really promoting the fact that, I mean, like I tell people that I'm a voice coach, but I'm not like, you know, pushing it or anything. I've gotten a few that way and then most of them are in person, but I do have a couple from, I'm moving to Portland where the beautiful, beautiful rain. I'll probably just go up later just for the bad hearts. Yeah, exactly. So, um, but I am a voice coach. You know, I do, uh, that's my main job is I got peach hearts. Yay. Um, that's my main job is, uh, coaching 
uh, anywhere, children, adults, anybody, any in the, any age range, um, how to control their voice and, you know, have good uh, vo vocal health. I can't speak right now. I'm a gluten-free coach. I've always wanted to have my Awesome! Awesome! If you're already gluten-free, then you're cutting, you've, you're already cutting out so many things that you need to, to be aware of your vocal health as well. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, so bat hearts guys you guys can go get your own bat hearts by hashtagging halloween and it's really fun um king of all periscopes is here we've got lynn puma indini casper maury dj the dark lord satan marcus carrie you are awesome and funny i appreciate that andrew you're great do you think anyone has the potential to have better vocals uh yeah following you now on twitter fantastic and if you just want to shoot me a dm my uh my inbox is open, so you can just message me right away and I'll make sure to follow you back and we can talk details. Um, I've always wanted to try vocal lessons just to see if they could work with me. Yeah, no, we should totally do that because like I said, I do, um, I do have some students uh, that I still see from about three years ago when I used to live on the East Coast and they didn't want to switch voice teachers, so we've been doing it over FaceTime and it works really well. Um, I am so off pitch. I can do a lot of ear training with you. I did uh, two years of that at Berkeley College of Music in Boston, and it really, really, really helps uh, get your ear and voice coordinated. Um, so we could definitely do that. And then Jess, I mean, yeah, anybody has the potential to learn to control their voice. I mean, some people's natural tone is going to be a little bit... Like, some people just don't have the prettiest tone to their voice. They might be really nasally or something like that and be like, you know, they can sing, but they're like, let it go, let it go. And it's like, okay, yeah, you're hitting the notes, but your tone, meh. So, um, you know, so it just depends on, on your tone, what we can do to kind of play around with that. Um, and then really just controlling your voice and learning how to use it because it is a part of your body and it's not just like... An instrument that I can show you like look you push down on this key and it makes the the note C like wow you can't do that and just be like ah. um Falom in Twitter Falom to you as well thank you guys for the bat hearts they're really cool I love them so much they're like super exciting for Halloween um thank you <laughs> thank you uh, I sound bad when I sing that's okay you just gotta, you just gotta try, and then, and then if you just keep doing it, and you keep practicing, you keep singing, and, and you just keep, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking, sorry, I just got so distracted, <laughs> I don't know why that comment distracted me so much, uh, guess, I can't believe you don't know my age already, guess, 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 twenty six. very good guess, but no, I might just broadcast because I want those bad hearts. Do it. I think close to my age. You're 27? I'm 28. Yes, you got it. I'm 28. <laughs> I'm 32. Well, that's cool. We're all big and adulty. You're 28 too. Oh my god, we're such big adults. Yay! <laughs> uh, so yeah, this this is really... I'm, I'm kind of just dragging this on because I'm enjoying talking to you guys. But um, yeah, so... But I'm only 15. That's okay. I read in your thing that you were a teenager. You're in the 28 club. Why is 18 so sad? About to be 29 in a month. Lot. Uh, I know. I'm really. I'm. I know. I know. I'm. I'm gonna be 29 in May, so I'm feeling it. It's already. It's already starting to feel like it's creeping. Um, what's wrong with being 18, Trolley? 18 is fun. 18 is you're finally big enough to do being 30s isn't so bad. I, I know, I've heard that it's really not, <laughs> but it just sounds like crazy to begin a completely different decade. I feel like my 30s will probably be better than my 20s too, but like in different ways. Like my 20s were fantastic. 18 is just a tease. Uh, uh, once you're in 21, there's nothing really to look forward to. Then you're just like, mm, I'm going to be 26, I'm going to be 30, I'm going to be 40, like, okay, cool, but 18 is really exciting. Um, I bought my first house in my 30s. 30s is awesome, was scary, but you kick it in, yeah, you got to kick it up a gear. Oh my gosh, you trolley. I, I don't drink alcohol at all, Um, so being 21 really didn't matter. Ah! <laughs> you guys, are you okay? Are you guys okay? Oh my god, you guys all just fell. Are you guys okay? You guys okay? 
Ouch. No, I really don't drink. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. One, and I am going to be driving, but I'm in a parking lot, guys, okay? Um, one is that I think it tastes like shit no matter what I drink. I don't care what it is, whether it's hard liquor or beer or fruity mixed drinks for girls or not even a glass of wine. Nope. I hate wine. I hate it. It tastes like straight vinegar to me. Like to me, if I'm, if somebody hands me a glass of wine, I'm like, just go get some vinegar. Never. I never, ever, 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 ever drink. And it's not because I'm against it. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not an advocate of it, but I'm not against it at all. I don't think people are bad people. I've never drank, but I know I want to. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've just, I've seen it destroy too many people's lives. And then on top of that, I taste it and it tastes like crap. And I'm like, why am I putting this in my body if it tastes like crap? And then I've never really gotten drunk to be honest with you. So it never works. Um, it tastes like crap to me too. That's why I don't drink exactly. Um, I tried to force myself to do it when I was in my twenties. Cause like everyone at college was doing that. And it just was like, okay, it tastes like crap. I don't get buzzed or drunk. Like a lot of people do. 